Welcome to another episode. I hope everyone's doing well. I've got another kit out to build. I've decided I've pulled the 66 Chevy Nova Pro Street out of the cupboard and I'm going to have a go building it. So I'll show you what I do to paint it. Um, as I've said previously, I'm not a, you know, I'm not the world's greatest painter. I just build these things for fun, but I'm going to show you what I do. So I've been known to change plan on what I'm going to what colors I'm going to use as builds progress but I'm pretty confident I'm going to paint it with light blue metallic by Tamiya um, and I'll use the same process of the fine surface primer and clear so, and then I'll probably do the chassis the way I normally do with, you know, black, uh, sorry, matte black or semi-gloss black. Um, and I thought I might try, put some colour on the engine block, you know, red and silver, something like that. We'll see how we go. And I'm undecided, but the interior will either be black or I may try a sort of faded white, you know, like, is on here I don't know how that'll look I may like it when I do the black base coat um, or I may opt to put a light interior in so we'll see how we go the kit looks good um, let's get started see how see how we go So the first thing I'm going to do is start by shooting some base coat, which is the, to me, a fine surface primer. I'll get that started now. Okay, so I've just gone over, anytime you build a model, just check for any flash with your knife. It's just where a bit of extra plastic comes out of the mold or whatever just tidy it up with your exacto blade no big deal and when we go put some primer on this it'll be guaranteed to show me things i've missed as well i can tidy that up sand it and then reprime it if necessary So that's the first very light coat. I'll put a second one on in a moment. Okay, so I'm going to do a bit of the chassis too. I don't know how much of this will be visible, but for the purposes of the exercise, I'll spray some of this too because some will be visible.
give that another little mist in a moment. I think it's mainly going to be those rear wheel humps that are visible but I might be wrong we'll find out okay so back from priming even though I did two light passes uh, it was still this is still the first primer coat in my mind so I'll now go over the model if there's any um, little defect or something which I don't actually see on this one but if there is I'll sand it and give it another pass with the primer and then the other thing I'll do is get some on the inside because um, I probably won't paint the inside of this I often just leave them in the primer because I don't know it looks a bit like grey headliner anyway something I thought I'd mention is when you um, you know use paint or primer I will actually hold the can so I, sh I shake it for a long time but I, I will actually hold it as well just to get some of the heat from my hand into the can because you don't want to paint with freezing cold paint so just cut off a little piece of abrasive sandpaper if you need it a hobby grade one, so a very fine one. I'm just using a Tamiya one and just cut a little piece off. If you've got an area you're working on, so I've got like a little bit of dust in the paint here and I'll just do that. Then when you reprime it, uh, it'll be smooth again, hopefully. Okay, so you can see I've just done a quick little bit of sanding um, I'll go get another quick mist of primer over it and then we should be ready to start shooting some paint I'm really excited to see how that comes out I don't need to re-mist the chassis or anything like that they came out fine going very light initially so I'm just going to give that a moment to tack up a bit I'm not going to let it dry it, it, there's not enough on there to create runs it's just to create a tacky surface for another light mist So third coat, 
getting a little bit more particular now about coverage. Make sure you do go from the bottom up as well or you'll miss the bottom runners of the car. Alright, back in a moment. So part of the reason I put the model away for you know, a short period between each coat, it's not just to tack the paint up, it's because this paint is really nice and it evaporates reasonably quickly. Not to the extent that you could polish it quickly or whatever, but um, by letting it evaporate, there's you know, and the liquid starts coming out of the paint, you minimise the chance of runs. So in this kit you get the option of turning it into a um, like a hood scoop um, version and I'll do that. It gives you the cutout lines so I'll, I'll work on that. I, I didn't forget to paint this part uh, I just I won't show you painting every single part but this will be painted the same colour as the body. I just got to wait for the glue to dry once I get started on this. So I've sanded it all flat and just be very careful when sanding, you don't want to sand down any high points or things that you want to stay sharp. Uh, but I've just smoothed it out. This sandpaper has been really good too. Uh, it's the Tamiya fine one. And I've been using the same little one centimetre piece for like a, a week. And it, I just wipe the dust out of it and it never seems to lose its, well it hasn't yet, it hasn't lost its abrasiveness. You know where with, with some sandpaper you use it and then you chuck it in the bin after a few minutes and you cut a new piece. This sandpaper has been really good. Okay, so the next step. Now that cut is actually, now that I've sanded it, it's almost so fine that primer would fill it. I'll just have a closer look. Yeah, so there's, there's not a lot I can do with putty for that. I've sanded it and it's past the, the finger test, it's smooth. But you can see, I mean, there's no hole for me to put putty in there. Um, when this glue dries, I'll sand the edges where the top half of the scoop and the bottom half of the scoop meet. You can see that seam. I'll sand that and then I'll hit it with some primer and we'll see where we're at. Okay, so I've shot some primer on the hood. As I suspected, you can't even really see where the knife went through. When this dries, I'll sand those edges where the seams are 
And this is the beauty of primer, it really shows up where you need to sand. I also missed something. Just in the scoop there is a little, I don't know what that is, an injection pin or something like that. So I'll sand that out. And likewise on this side, I'll get that sanded. Just the seam. When I paint this, I'm just going to mist the inside, the, well it's, it's wet, but the underside, I'll just give it a little mist with the blue, because so far on every real car I've owned, it's just been misted the body colour, but it's not glossy or anything, it's, it's just like paint got under there or something like that. So I think I'll do that. The other thing is, even though this is wet, um, well, it'll be probably dry now that this stuff dries pretty quickly, but the I'm not worried about dust getting in it at this point because I'm going to sand it. Now, the car, which I painted, I am trying to minimise dust getting on that because it's, it's at the paint stage. So if you don't have a booth, maybe think about a cupboard like in your kitchen or something where if it's made of like a plasticky material that won't uh, have particles on it so you know like like this stuff is actually quite plasticky and I just wipe the inside of my cupboard down with a damp rag which will take any dust away and then I'll put the model in there with the door propped open maybe an inch and that will minimise 99% of the dust from my experience. Obviously if you've got a booth or something that's better, but not everyone has that. So just something to keep in mind. Okay, so a bit more progress. I've just sanded down the edges a little bit. done a pretty quick job of taking care of that bit that was inside the scoop and I've also the the inside hole was a bit smaller than the scoop allowed so I've cut it out to maximize the space that the scoop allows just to give me extra clearance around the engine now I'm not shooting for perfect here I'm just going to go give another quick mist with primer eyeball it and go from there so the body's back from paint I haven't clear coated it I haven't polished it that's just how it's come out I've got the Hood, whoops, got the hood scoop smoothed out. It's not perfect, but I'm happy with it. Looks good. So the next thing I'm going to do is get some paint on the the hood or the the bonnet, depending on where you're from. Okay, so I said I was happy with the hood. I wasn't quite happy enough yet, so I've sanded it one more time. You could spend hours on this piece. I'm not going to do that. I just wanted to smooth the seams out a bit more. And I'm certainly not going to smooth out all up in there. You can do that if you like. Um, I just, for this model, I'm not going to do that. I'll go put a bit more primer on it. And then look at painting it. I think we did okay considering this one hasn't been done in a booth. We've only managed to get one tiny little thing that landed in it and I can fix that if I bother. And yeah, the, I think the trick is if you don't have a booth find an empty cupboard or something but make sure it's not one that's made of 
like particle board or something where when someone walks on the floor above it, you know, you're going to get dust sprinkling down off of it. So I, I like the plastic type cupboards. Just having a play with the interior now while other things dry and test fitting things. So you can see not everything needs primer on it but I just do it to make sure I get coverage on the bits that I need to get it on. Motors coming along. Moving on. Okay, so just preparing for my next painting session. I've got the seats in. Don't mind that bit of plastic there. Still drying and there's some fluff on it, but that'll come off. Haven't put the sides on yet because I want to be able to get the spray can up close and get around the seats. Then I'll do the engine the sides so in the first pass and I may leave it that way if I like it all the interior will be primed and then painted probably semi gloss black uh, the engine I'll prime and then I'll probably paint it semi gloss black as well and then give it a couple of mists with this and then I'll start building on top of it with the chrome uh, parts and I'll put the you know the fan and belts will be blacked out and I'll do the exhausts in probably silver so I've just put a bit of primer on the interior uh, it's quite late so in the morning I'll keep working on this I'm going to mist the interior with a coat of semi-gloss black and the block I'm not sure about, I'll have a think. It's definitely going to be red but I don't know if I'll do a black base and the reason for that is your base, even if you're not trying to create shadows, so if you t intend to totally cover your base coat, your base coat can still influence the color of your finished paint which is why sometimes you'll see if you know if you read the modeling forums and whatever else you'll see people saying well you know if you want to use this light pearl paint maybe use a light base coat you know if you're painting a dark color maybe use a darker primer it, you know I basically use the same primer for everything um, just because I like it but Definitely your under layers, whether it's primer or paint, can influence the brightness of the end result, especially when you're looking at pearl paints. Okay, so I'm back. I'm going to go shoot some black, semi-gloss black which I think is appropriate for the interior uh, and I'm going to paint the engine with red I had hoped to find something like a Chrysler engine red in a can or something but I have no experience painting red engines with these cans so if you know what the best colour is to use let me know but I mean people respray blocks whatever they want so Let's go paint this. So I'm just going to start shooting some semi-gloss black. My technique is nowhere near as careful as it is for the exterior of the car when I'm doing the interior. Because I don't have to worry about polishing it.
just like that. Oh, that red looks awesome. Okay, so progress update. That has come out awesome. I love that colour. I didn't want um, a weathered look on it at all. I want this one to look really nice, if that makes sense, like clean. Got some colour on the interior and that hood we were working on or bonnet all that sanding and filing has been worth it really really happy with that that looks awesome I think and I'm gonna go and start shooting some clear so that'll be that by Tamiya Just an ultralight first coat. I'll give that a moment. Going a second mist coat. Yep, again, very light. Third coat, a bit more coverage. I'll be back in a moment. So the next thing I'm going to do is make some progress on the engine. I'm going to start by putting the valve covers on, which I'm going to leave them chrome, but I'm going to wash them down a little bit, uh, not soak them, but put a little bit of accent on them to bring them out a bit. So I've got the body back from paint. This hasn't been polished or that. It does have a clear coat on it now. 
Um, I'm not going to wet sand it. I may just give it a quick polish with the Tamiya compounds. But I'm happy with how that's come out. So I'm just going to start getting the tyres and wheels together. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some panel liner on the inside to settle them down a bit. That's the stuff I'll be using. It's a little bit hard because I'm filming while I'm doing this, but I wanted to sort of show you how it goes on. I probably applied it a little bit generously there, but it's fine because you can still soak it up. So I'll just move some to the other wheel. Try and get it in the little edges and grooves. That sort of shows you side by side. Alright, I'll do another one. So you can see I've applied it on the bottom three and not on that one. So I think those will look really nice with that body colour. So I'm going to do a similar thing to the grill and just settle it down a little bit too. I won't make you watch this whole thing but you can see there what I'm doing. Okay, so the next step I'm going to do is give the body a bit of a polish. Now for me personally, I don't know that I would um, polish it if it wasn't for making the video because I'm happy, I'm happy with how that's come out. I think it looks good enough. But I'll give it a quick polish with the coarse Tamiya compound up to the fine or the finish one. So I'll start with this one. Just put a bit on and very carefully with your polishing cloth go back and forth and don't, don't apply pressure and be extremely careful on your raised edges because it'll any polish can burn through any paint if you're not very, very careful. 
So I've given it a polish with the Tamiya compounds. Nothing crazy, just worked my way from coarse up to finish. Uh, I haven't done the the uh, bonnet or the hood. Just I'm I'm happy with it. So in a coming video, I might do some wet sanding because you got to keep in mind I'm polishing clear coat here but if you've got orange peel like bad orange peel on your model which is sort of like if you look up what orange peel is you'll see what I mean and and you just polish it you can end up with shiny orange peel so you you wet sand um, the the paint and then you clear coat it but That'll be something for an upcoming video. Okay, moving on. So I've just painted the exhausts and some of the parts for the engine bay. I've decided to do them, well I painted them, I primed them and then I painted them black. And then I've misted them with the Tamiya Mika silver colour. And I think it'll be interesting. I, I usually do black engine bays, so I wanted to put some color in this one. Another little update. I've left the interior black and just adjust that light. And I've made the engine bay silver. I've done a very simple wash down of the motor. I've put the, um, I had to paint the carburetors with silver. I've left, and the, um, the exhaust lines, but other than that, I've just left them in the chrome, washed it down with panel liner. Unfortunately, I've lost the coil it's like really tiny and it rolled off my desk so that should be on there too they do come in the kit and i lost it <laughs> so anyway i'm going to get this in the car and I'm pretty close to finished we'll move on looks pretty good in there so i just got to get the um shroud on and we'll be back. So I've got the model done as much as I'm gonna do it. I've done some things a bit differently and I've made a couple of mistakes, but that's modeling. The um, first thing you'll see, when I was fitting the body, uh, I don't know how it happened. I had the body on a uh, protective cloth but there must have been some glue on it because when I turned the body back over, there was glue. So that was a shame, but no big deal. Cleaned it up as best as I could. Doesn't, um, it's not something I'm gonna go and fix. It just doesn't bother me that much. So something else I've done with this build is I haven't fitted the body quite the way you meant to and that's because I've adjusted the stance so it does from the kit sit nice and low um, but I've set it to my own uh, ride height I'm happy with how that came out Now because I've put the um, stacks on, I can't remember what they're called, the optional velocity stacks or something like that, um, you can't close the hood. You could possibly cut more out, like it, it, it actually says when you're building it, 
test fit before you paint it in case you need to cut more out um, which makes sense but I never it, if I've got a, an engine like that I never put the hood on when I display it anyway so I'll just sit that with the car it comes with this neat little um, engine block on a stand type thing I'll probably dry brush that with gunmetal I haven't decided which is why I've only painted it black so far um, and it comes with a couple of other bits you also get um, the wheelie bars I didn't put them on but you get them and you'll notice I only put the glass in the left hand window just to try and make make it look like the windows were down on one side um, and it says optional so anyway like anything I build it's not perfect I'm sure I got a bucket load of things on it wrong but people who know more about Novas and model building will see straight away but for me I like it it was a fun kit I love the color I didn't put um, I, like you might want to do the orange indicators and that I just I got it to this point and I thought that looks good I'm just leaving it like that in a coming video I think I'll show marking off to black out the um, the rubbers because I haven't done that in a video yet I often don't do them but some people do so I might put that in a video how to mask off for that and potentially start introducing other painting techniques like wet sanding and uh, two-tone paint jobs and that sort of thing if, if anyone would be interested in that all right well if you're still watching thank you very much and I had heaps of fun building this I'm enjoying making these videos take care everyone I'll catch you in the next video see ya